America just shocked the world with what they're building right now, and almost nobody is paying attention. While you're lost in politics, elections, and endless memes, the future didn't knock. It landed silently. Look up. Right now, drones are flying over American neighborhoods with zero pilots. Zipline has already flown 100 million autonomous miles. Zero crashes. That's like driving every single road in America two dozen times without one mistake. They started in Rwanda delivering emergency blood in 30 minutes instead of hours by dirt road. Infant mortality dropped 51%. Thousands of babies are alive today because a drone showed up. Now they've come home. Partnered with Walmart in Arkansas and Texas, delivering medicine, groceries, even your forgotten phone charger in under half an hour. By 2026, they plan 1 million deliveries a day, 1 million drones above your roof every single day, silent, precise, perfect, and quietly replacing every delivery driver who ever earned a paycheck. Meanwhile, a brand new Tesla Model Y rolls off the Austin assembly line and drives itself 15 miles through traffic straight to the customer's driveway. No human, no remote control, just full self-driving. Elon called it the first factory-to-door autonomous delivery in history. Aptera's three-wheeled solar car is covered in panels that give you 40 free miles a day from sunlight alone. The average American drives 37 miles. You might literally never plug it in again. 50,000 pre-orders, $1.7 billion booked before the first car even ships. And the one nobody wants to say out loud, autonomous semis are already on the interstates. Aurora, Waymo, Too Simple, trucks that never sleep, never take breaks, never get distracted. When they go coast to coast with zero drivers, 3.5 million American truckers disappear overnight. That's families, mortgages, entire towns built on truck stop diners and motels, gone. Progress looks incredible until you're the one it progresses past. Amazon just celebrated a milestone nobody cheered for. Their one millionth robot is now working. Their newest warehouse in Shreveport, Louisiana needs 30% fewer humans because machines do everything heavier, faster, and cheaper. Leaked internal documents say Amazon plans 75% automation by 2033. That's 600,000 jobs that will simply never exist. Meet Vulcan, the robot that feels and touches items like a human hand, but works 20 hours straight without ever getting tired or filing a worker's comp claim. Meet Blue Jay, multiple flexible arms that sort any shape package in spaces too tight for people, both locked behind safety fences because they move too fast for humans to stand beside. Boston Dynamics Atlas isn't doing parkour videos anymore. It's on Hyundai factory floors right now, autonomously moving heavy engine covers, deciding every motion in real time with one neural network running its entire body. Figure AI, backed by Jeff Bezos, NVIDIA, Microsoft, and OpenAI, already has robots working BMW assembly lines in South Carolina. Their next model, Figure 03, is designed for your living room. Softer exterior, palm cameras, wireless charging, learns the layout of every room, watches your routines, anticipates what you need before you even ask. One X Technologies just opened pre-orders for the Neo Humanoid. Five foot six, quieter than your refrigerator, stronger than it looks, can thread a needle or pick up an egg without crushing it. 20,000 to buy or 499 a month to rent. Deliveries, 2026. Only one catch. For the first few years, every single task is controlled by a remote human operator staring through its cameras inside your house. You're paying someone to watch you fold laundry load the dishwasher, and take out the trash. Convenient, or the creepiest subscription you'll ever sign up for. Now we reach the part that should keep every single American awake at night. There's a company you've probably never heard of that already tracks almost every one of us in real time, Palantir. Their system, Gotham, fuses over 700 data sources, bank records, medical files, passports, phone location, social connections, even data they buy from brokers into permanent digital profiles you can never delete. $795 million Pentagon deal, 30 million to ICE in 2025 alone. The exact same tech powered Israel's Lavender AI that assigned risk scores to 37,000 Palestinians. CEO Alex Karp says openly, algorithmic warfare is the new tactical nuclear weapon. 
Palantir isn't building the robots. They're building the brain that tells the robots who to watch, who to follow, who to target. Because America isn't just automating warehouses. We're building a full robot army, air, land, and sea, all plugged into that same surveillance grid. The Air Force plans more than 1,000 AI-controlled fighter jets by 2030. Andoral Fury, Kratos Valkyrie, Shield AI VBAT already fly alongside F-35s, choosing targets with no pilot in the cockpit. One soldier with a tablet commands eight killer drones today. Tomorrow, the drones won't wait for the soldier. They'll decide on their own. Shield AI's VBAT takes off vertically like a helicopter, flies 2,000 nautical miles, climbs to 50,000 feet, and if every communication link is jammed, it just keeps flying the mission and picking targets anyway. The Army took a Black Hawk, ripped out the cockpit, and turned it into the fully autonomous S-70 US Hawk. Drops 10,000 pounds of cargo or missiles into places no human pilot would survive. Under the oceans, Andrel's Dive LD autonomous submarines are now in active service with the US Navy. The first Dive LD was delivered in April 2025 to Unmanned Undersea Vehicle Squadron 1 following operational training in late 2024. These crewless vehicles patrol for extended periods, performing intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, seabed mapping, and infrastructure inspection without human intervention. Modular and scalable, Dive LD dives deep, carries adaptable payloads, and shifts undersea operations toward persistent autonomy reducing risks to sailors while expanding coverage in strategic waters. Larger variants and armed options, like integration with Copperhead high-speed torpedoes, are advancing rapidly, with new factories ramping production for dozens to hundreds annually starting 2026. On the ground and in the air, Anderil's Roadrunner and Altius families lead the charge in reusable, AI-driven drones. Roadrunner, a vertical takeoff interceptor, deploys in swarms to counter aerial threats, returning if unused. Altius series, tube-launched loitering munitions like Altius 600M and 700M, combine surveillance with precision strikes, proven in Ukraine, hundreds delivered since 2022, and now fielded in Taiwan. Onboard AI enables autonomous target hunting, tracking, and engagement using computer vision, even in jammed environments. These systems make independent judgments, using sensors to navigate chaos and learn from missions. Everything ties together via Lattice, Andrew's AI platform that builds a real-time, unified battle space across air, sea, and land. Lattice ingests data from diverse sensors and robots, predicts threats, adapts to disruptions, and orchestrates coordinated responses faster than humans. Selected for US Replicator Initiative, Aiming for thousands of attritable autonomous systems deployed by late 2025, Lattice enables collaborative swarms, integrating Andoral hardware like DiveLD, Altius, and Roadrunner with third-party platforms. This isn't distant sci-fi. Deliveries and deployments are happening now in 2025. DiveLD in Navy hands, Altius expansions, Roadrunner contract scaling, Lattice powering replicator. So here we are. Autonomous fleets overhead, underwater, and on the ground. Thinking, learning, deciding at machine speed. The future isn't coming, it's already here.